This is my nearest polling station. Your local polling station will usually be your local school or church hall. After following the signs, I have arrived at a display of information. I know that I'm in the right place because the polling station number matches that on my card and also the street that I live on is displayed over there. If you are unsure how to vote or this is your first time voting, there are some simple instructions here that you can follow or you can speak to a member of staff who would be more than happy to help. I have arrived today with the card that I received in the post. However, you don't actually need this card to vote as long as you are registered. So I'm off to join the queue for 236. But please be aware that there sometimes can be more than one polling station at the same location. When you arrive at the desk, hand over your polling card to the polling station officer. The officer will ask you to confirm your address. When your address has been found on the register, the officer will then ask you to confirm your full name. If you don't have a polling card, please give your name and address to the officer who will find you on the register. It is a legal requirement to state your full name and address. The polling station will not keep your polling card or provide bins. You will be asked to take this home to dispose of it. This is for your own data protection. The process followed by the polling staff provides a legal audit trail. However, all documents are stored separately and are only accessed via a court order, should there be a legal challenge. Therefore, your vote is secret and is always secret. In all polling stations, citizens must not use their phones, take pictures, talk amongst themselves or share a polling booth. Voting has a strict code of conduct to ensure that all legal processes are adhered to. Excuse me, no conferring please. It may seem innocent to huddle in a booth or to talk to your friends, however your vote must be kept secret. Instructions on how to mark your ballot paper are displayed in the booth. I'm using the pencil provided, but you can use your own pen or pencil. Once you've voted, fold the paper in half once and place it in the box.